to appear? Correct. Plus whatever I might do. Correct. Okay. Looks like everyone's back. All right, let me go ahead and start. We are on the record on the people of the state of Michigan versus Nanara Rehan file 190970, which is the driving license suspended second case and, and speeding ticket 19S 420785SI. Would the lawyers please identify themselves for the record? I tell you, do so on behalf of the people. Your Honor, enjoy your two on behalf of the defendants. All right, today's time and date set for an arraignment. Um, Mr. Yatoma, have you had an opportunity to speak with the prosecutor and your client? And is there an agreement regarding this case? Basically, your client not appearing in court, but underlying case is never resolved. That is correct, Your Honor. I mean, I, I did talk to Attorney Dusso and my client, and I believe we could work out a resolution today, and hopefully to try to get everything situated and get his license back reinstated. Okay. What is the agreement? Do you want to go ahead, Ms. Dusso? Uh, yeah, Your Honor, he would be pleading guilty to allowing driving while license suspended and admitting responsibility to the speeding ticket. That is our understanding as well, Judge. All right. Is it your recommendation, Mr. Yatoma, that your client accept that? Correct, Your Honor. I will, uh, I will go ahead and lift the warrants on both cases and we'll deal with the issue of sentencing. Uh, let me, uh, after the plea, Ms. Dusso, is there a crash or anything we have to worry about restitution? No, Your Honor. All right. Uh, Mr. Yotoma, may I address your client directly? Absolutely, Dr. Judge. Good afternoon, Mr. Rehan. Hey, Judge. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Uh, your attorney has indicated that he has negotiated on your behalf that you would admit to speeding and then also plead guilty to an added count two, which is allowing an unlicensed person to drive or allowing a uh, person without a, a driver's license suspended to drive. This recommendation is, is that you enter that plea. Are you planning on following your attorney's advice? Yes, Judge. All right. Can you raise your right hand where I can see it? Do you solemnly swear or affirm testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, Judge. I do. Put your hand up. Has anyone promised you anything more than what we've talked about on the record or threatened you in any way to get you to plead to this new charge when you really do not want to? No, Judge. Are you under the influence of any medicines, drugs, or alcohol that's confusing you at the moment? No, Judge. If you enter this plea, you'll be waiving some valuable rights. Those rights are the right to a trial by jury, or if you, your attorney and the prosecutor agree, the right to a trial by judge. You'll be waiving the right to represent yourself or request a court-appointed attorney. Mr. Uh, Yatoma will be your attorney. You'll be waiving the right to remain silent and not have your silence used against you and the right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. And you'll be waiving the right to confront your accusers, call witnesses and testify. Do you understand each of these rights? I do, sir. Yeah, Your Honor. Yep. You would have to waive these rights in order for me to accept this plea. Do you waive these rights? I waive those rights. All right. Let me show you the original document. Let me know when they show up on your computer screen. They should be there by now. Yes. All right, you can see that there's only one charge. In order to accomplish this, we're going to say that there's an amended count two of attempting to, excuse me, count two of allowing another person to drive while license suspended. I do not think you allowed somebody else to drive while their license was suspended, but the law allows me to take the plea based upon what you did. And then if there's an agreement between the defense and prosecution, I can enter it in as a reduced charge. So how do you plead to an added count two of allowing another person to drive while their license was suspended? Do you plead guilty, not guilty, or stand mute? Guilty, Your Honor. And on criminal cases, you're either guilty or not guilty. On traffic offenses, you're either responsible, meaning guilty of violating the law, or not responsible. How do you plead to speeding of five over, one to five over? Are you responsible for that or not responsible for that? I, I am responsible for it, Your Honor. Right. On or about August 20th of 2019, were you driving a little too fast on Isabella Road, which is also known as M20 in Greendale Township, Midland County, Michigan? Yes, Your Honor. 
and you would agree that you probably were speeding over the speed limit on that day. Is that true? That is correct. And on that day, your license was suspended. Is that also true? And that is correct, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Yatoma, have I complied with the court rule and had an adequate factual basis? You have, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. so. Yes, Your Honor. I believe so as well. I find that the plea has been made knowingly, understandably, voluntarily, and accurately. We'll enter in records of the court as allowing an unlicensed person to drive, allowing the driver's license suspended. Suspended. The original charge of driving license suspended second is dismissed. Allocution, Mr. Yatoma, on your client's behalf. I'm sorry, Your Honor, what was that? Uh, we're going to go to sentencing now. Sure, no problem. Anything you wish to say in your client's behalf? Uh, Your Honor, uh, just to, uh, just briefly, my client is 32 years old. At the time that he was in Midland, he was driving there because of work. Um, he had moved back to Oakland County. When he was pulled over, he had no idea that his license was suspended. He did have a passenger that could have allowed to drive because he was licensed. Um, it was a situation out of Clarkson that we took care of last week. Um, right now, he's back in Oakland County. He works... Um, he does online retail uh, with a friend. Uh, and he's never, besides traffic tickets, there's nothing else on his record, Your Honor, so. We're just requesting that he just pay the fines that he owes to the court at this time. Yeah, so the last piece, uh, you said he's nothing on his drive, there's nothing on his criminal history other than traffic, traffic. tickets. Correct. Okay. That's my understanding. You got, you got that information from him? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Rehan, would you like to correct your attorney or do you want to leave that uh, criminal history left? If you just made your attorney ignore eight of your prior crimes. Um, what crimes are we referring to, Your Honor? Well, the 2008 failed to display a license in Rochester, the operating while impaired out of Utica, in 2009, the driving license spent in Hazel Park, the failure to display a valid license in 2009, operating with another person to drive in 2013, possession of marijuana, attempted possession of analogs in Roseville, and attempted drug crime in Roseville in 2016. Those aren't your convictions? Yes, they are, Your Honor. I, honestly, I forgot about the Roseville thing. Um, and then the rest of them were, uh, I, I was considering them as uh, traffic violations. Um, I didn't see them to be anything outside of uh, any, like, uh, uh, you're a criminal in, 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 can you hear me well yeah I, I oh i can hear you the problem i have is when someone just like when you go to a doctor if you don't give all the symptoms uh the doctor's yes. gonna be the wrong medication and if you don't inform your lawyer of all the other stuff and he makes a statement that he wouldn't have done he wouldn't have yes, done that correct. on your behalf yes, you put correct. him you put him in a very awkward position because i don't think mr yatoma would have went there he would have just said your honor he has not been in trouble for a period of time and you did that. And you have a long history, a long history of irresponsibility, long history of irresponsibility. You don't show up to court. You didn't show up here. That's why you lost your driver's license. You didn't show to court in 2008. Back in Sterling Heights, you lost your license there. You, uh, you didn't show up. I counted at least six or seven times where you just don't show up. You don't take responsibility for your actions. Quite honestly, you would be the kind of person who I would put in jail it, uh, they not change the law because you don't take responsibility. And then you make your lawyer look foolish because he's making a comment regarding you not having criminal history when you probably didn't tell him. Here's the sentence. You will pay $75 crime victim rights fee, a $50 state assessment fee, $500 in fines, $475 in court costs. You have 21 days to appeal the sentence, 14 days to request a court appointed attorney to appeal the sentence. You also owe 272 dollars for the traffic ticket. Deb, um, adjust down my sentence because I've given a maximum of fines. Adjust it down for the $45 because I'm not going to make him pay more than the maximum fines it costs. He's earned it. He doesn't show up to court. It's been two years since he's been put in place, but he doesn't deserve to pay more than what's required. So adjust our number, my number down so that the reinstatement fee of $45 is uh, is taken into consideration under the cost section. Thank you, sir. You have, you have 21 days to appeal the sentence, 14 days to request a court appointed attorney, Mr. Rehan. Next time you get in trouble, I hope you don't, but make sure your lawyer knows all of your criminal history so that when they go to the judge, that they the lawyer couches it 
Uh, lawyers are very careful with their words. He would have said, I know he would have. My client's not been in trouble in over five years, Your Honor. He had some other issues. You see him shaking his head right now. You put him yeah. in an awful yeah. spot because of your irresponsibility. And I put that on you, not you, Mr. Yotoma. I know that you wouldn't have said it. It's not worth, it's not worth, the, it's not worth the tongue lashing. Mr. Rehan deserves the... Uh, the uh, the comments today. No, hey, George. Right, um, can, can we get the total, if you don't mind? And when can when can he pay by? Can he get at least uh, some time to pay? Yeah, he, he uh, can pay over the phone right now if he wishes. So four seventy five plus uh, five hundred plus four seventy five. So it's eleven hundred dollars on the uh, on the crime, and two hundred seventy two dollars on the traffic ticket, $1,372. He does not have any bond money, though he was arrested because he failed to appear, so he forfeited that amount of money. No problem. And do we have some right. time to pay, Judge? Yes, he has till, we're open until five o'clock today. Can we get we'll some more time? I mean, well, if you can't make it today. I can make uh, the payment, you thank you. All right, thank you. We'll be adjourned. Thank you, thank you, Your Honor. Thank All right, thank you. All right.